Hey y'all. Uh, well, we're down here back cutting. We've got a few trees down, mostly poplar. We've had some that were cold. We had to get out of the way. Uh, but here's kind of a little bit of what we had going on. We've got some piled up here. Skylar's up there putting gas in it, so he's going to keep bucking. We bucked a lot of these logs out. Uh, we buck most of ours before we drag it. We we don't really do too much tree length, mostly because it's you know it's hard on the on the mules. It's easier to for me anyway. It seems easier to buck them up in the grade logs and and then if they're small, we can pull two or even three logs at a time. Uh, plus, it keeps our it keeps our load short too. You know, we're not near as long, you know, and getting around out here in the woods, you know, it's a little easier getting around. And uh, we're right here at Mr. Ricky's house. So we have to be careful. And there's several of them we've had to pull and push and this and that. Uh, and I just kind of want to show you all around what we've got going on. It rained us out yesterday and we didn't get to do much. We cut the day before yesterday, just a little bit. And uh, we're cutting a little this evening. And hopefully Saturday, see today's Thursday. And then hopefully on Saturday, we'll be able to get in here with the mules and get this little bit out. We're trying to get two to three truckloads cut before we start skidding. It just seems to work better that way for us. <clears throat> Sometimes it does kind of get to be a jumbled up mess though. You know, like over here, we got so many in a pile, but we, we've got most of them bucked up and we'll just peel them off the top one by one until we get it. But I mean, there's a power line that runs right over there, all the way back to Mr. Ricky's house. And of course, we got vehicles and stuff over here and there's his house. So we've, you know, we don't have a whole lot of room. We're having to make them all go, you know, down the hill down there toward the neighbor's drive and we're trying to keep them out of the neighbor's driveway too we're trying to keep everybody happy make it look good but anyway i want to share that a little bit oh and uh like this little red oak here we've tried to leave it and there's another red oak we've tried to leave you know we, we're trying to do good by the by the land while we're here there's several little red oaks in here that we're trying to leave for seed trees there's a real nice white oak back over there and a big red oak behind it but most of what we've been cutting today and the day before yesterday has been poplar there's one little lonely black walnut tree over here we may wind up leaving it for a seed tree too but anyway Well, it's quitting time. <clears throat> Thought I'd show y'all what we got done. We got several logs ready. It's tight right in here, y'all. I tell you, it's tight. The power line runs right across there, right on the other side of that little old poplar. Or, uh, excuse me, on the other side of that little red oak. His power line runs to his house, and of course, then his house is back over there. And, and then right out there on that side, we got the highway. So we're all, we're having to lay them all down the hill here. So we're really having to kind of pay attention and make sure we do things right. A few of them we're gonna to have to pull, but the timber's pretty good. It's just a tight spot we've got up here on the hill. That's the good news is that we got up here on the hill. So we've been getting a bunch of rain here lately, but that ain't really gonna hurt us too bad cause we're up here on this hill. Now all we need to do is get the mules in here and get all the logs out. And there's several logs under them tops. It's kind of wadded up mess, but we had to make a hole and make room for, you know, other trees to, to go. We had to make some holes. And our goal is, is to work back around through there and on around behind the house. And uh, that's where we've been logging is down the hill down there, but we're done down there. We just got a couple big trees back there behind the house. and. We're gonna work around his house down that way. And I decided to do it this way mainly because of the rain and also 
the timber in here is smaller and it's better for my mules to get back in shape because like i said y'all we've been out since uh oh january the fifth or sixth something like that was the last time we worked last time the mules worked anyway uh so they got to get hardened back up you know where they can do something so this little timber this smaller timber will be good for them most of it we've cut 14 foot and most of what y'all see here is poplar except for like right here it's a little red oak we cut we had to get it out of the way we made ties out of it red oak ain't bringing nothing right now in our area but most of the poplar is what we're cutting because that's mostly what's here uh we're trying to thin the poplar out and uh, make room for some better timber and he's got plenty of hickory that's coming back a little bit of black walnut a little bit of white oak so they just a little bit here and there uh anywho we'll have the mules in here saturday morning and uh we'll have some of that footage for y'all where y'all can see the mules work and how we get this timber out and how we get it on the truck you know and get it to the mill uh but y'all stay tuned bear with us have patience with us and uh we'll do our best y'all have a good one